The brand new Apple Watch 10, or Apple Watch X, whatever you want to call it, is set to release this year with some cutting edge features that are going to make it look awesome. If you didn't know already, it's the 10th anniversary of the Apple Watch this year. Apple likes to do something special for their 10 year anniversaries, just like we saw with the iPhone X. So this year with the Apple Watch 10, we could be looking at a whole new design and a load of new features. Let's dive into all of these exciting updates. First off, let's talk about the design. According to Mark Gurman, Apple is working on a completely new design for the Apple Watch 10. We're not just talking about minor updates like a slightly larger screen or an edge-to-edge -edge display. We're looking at a significant redesign. The new design might feature sharper edges similar to the iPhone 15 and 14 models. This would give the Apple Watch a more modern and sleek look. However, it's likely to retain the general rectangular shape we are familiar with. A fully round face doesn't seem to be on the cards yet, mainly because all existing apps are designed for the square display. Changing to a round display would mean developers need to update their apps, which is a massive undertaking. Maybe in the future, with advancements in AI, this might become possible, but for now, the rectangular shape is here to stay. Another exciting update from Gurman's report is about the watch bands. Apple is planning to redesign how these bands attach to the watch. We've had the same band design since the first Apple Watch. It's impressive that bands from the first model are still compatible with the latest models. However, for the first time in a decade, Apple is changing this with a new magnetic attachment system. This means the current bands won't be compatible with the Apple Watch 10. The new magnetic bands will need to be strong enough to stay secure but also offer a safety feature where they can be easily detached if snagged. We'll have to wait for more details, but it's clear that a new band design is coming. Now let's move on to the display, logic board, and battery life. The Apple Watch 10 is expected to feature a new OLED display, possibly similar to the Tandem OLED in the iPad Pro, but perhaps even more advanced. This new display will likely be thinner and more efficient, improving the watch's overall performance. Inside, we're expecting a new logic board with the S10 chip. This chip might feature a resin-coated copper design, which would make it thinner, more durable, and improve water resistance. A thinner logic board means more space for other components, potentially allowing for a larger battery. However, don't expect a massive leap in battery life. Any improvements will likely be in the range of an additional 6 to 12 hours, not days. Regarding sensors, it seems that a glucose or blood sugar sensor won't be included in the Apple Watch 10. While Apple is working on this technology, it's not ready for this year's model. However, a new blood pressure sensor might be included, allowing the watch to monitor conditions like hypertension. Additionally, there will be improvements in sleep monitoring capabilities. As for the release date, Apple Watches typically launch alongside iPhones in September. Based on previous years, we can expect the announcement in mid-September, with the watches likely becoming available later in the month. When it comes to pricing, we should be prepared for a price increase. The last time we saw a significant price hike was with the Apple Watch 4. Given the new design and features, along with the general increase in manufacturing costs, a $50 to $70 increase seems likely. Are you excited about the new Apple Watch 10? Are you planning to get one? Or are there specific features you're waiting for? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell for the latest Apple news, reviews, and comparisons. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye bye.